ordinary horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual. A man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. What part do you want, Kimasabi? It's about John Ames, Tano. Ames? He is one just released from prison? Yes. If he carries out his threats, he'll go right back there. That bad. Ames have wife and children in Black Butte. His wife talked to our good friend, the Padre. What'd she tell, Padre? Ames boarded a stage in Black Butte. He's headed for Alkali Bend. He says he'll get even with two men by the name of Gunder. Stage pass on South Road soon. All right, Tano. Let's go. John Ames on that stage. Him look like him want trouble. Yes. His wife told the Padre he bought a gun before he left home. What we do? We ride into town. Watch what happens. I'll meet you at camp later. Ah. Nonsense. If people don't like the way we run our stages, let them walk. Take a look at who it is. Well, Ames, we hardly expected to see you around here again. Too bad to disappoint all you nice people, but I'm here. Yeah. This is a surprise. What brings you back to Alkali then? This was my home, wasn't it? Well, yes, of course. The wife and children moved away. I guess we all thought. We all hoped, Ames, now that you're back in circulation, you might want to join them. Why should I? I'm an ex-convict now. Maybe they're better off without me. That's no way to feel. Besides, I got some unfinished business to take care of here. What business? Are the Gunner boys still around? Yes, they're around. But you stay away from them. Why should I? I didn't have anything to do with those stagecoach holdups. They lied me into the pen. The jury didn't figure they was lying. The jury was fooled that time. John. Now, listen. I want you to know I'm your friend. But don't get in any trouble, because I'll have to back the law. Go on, back the law. That's all right with me, Bill. And you can even lock me up after I've finished. Finished what? Making Todd and Clay Gunder tell the truth. I'm warning you, John. I won't stand for any violence. What did you find out, Toto? Ames talks strong, but Sheriff talks stronger. Maybe Ames changed mind and go away. I don't think so, Tonto. He's had a long time to think it over, and talk won't stop him now. We help him? Yes, if he's telling the truth. But first, we have to warn the Gunders. Come on, Tonto.
Todd, Clay Gunter, open up. I want to have a talk with you. Clay? Todd? Anybody there? Not home. Looks like we're a little late with our warning. Plenty big fight here. Yes. A bullet hole. No wonder Ames was riding so fast. Come on, Tonto. If Ames killed them, where bodies? Perhaps it puzzles me, Tunnel. Ames not here alone. Wouldn't take him long to do this as mad as he was. What's their trouble between Ames and Gunder Brothers? Ames was arrested for robbing a stagecoach. The only witnesses were the Gunder Brothers. Their testimony made an open and shut case against him. And now Ames say they lie? Yes. You know, Ames had plenty of reason to ride fast. Him better off in jail. The feeling that Alkali Bend is very much against him. Now, no one listened to him, whether him guilty or not. You ride to the sheriff and report this. I'll meet you outside of town later. Ah. Take her, ain't you, John? What do you want here? I'm arresting you. Arresting me? What for? You made some pretty strong threats against the Gunner boys today. Yes, but And I... from the news that a redskin named Tonto brought in, I reckon you carried those threats out. He's lying. He just came from their cabin. He saw the mess that you made out there and came right to town and told me about it. He told you that I killed him? He claims he saw you riding away from their cabin. Well, John? Oh, I was there all right, but, but Bill, I didn't kill him. You've got to believe me. You went out there to do it, didn't you? Yes. I, I started out to make trouble, but by the time I got there, I wasn't so sure anymore. What do you mean? I, I figured it, they weren't worth the price I'd have to pay. Then what? I, I found just what the Redskins said he found. The cabin all smashed up, blood around. And? I knew I had to clear out. Whatever had happened would be blamed on me. I'm not so sure that I don't believe you. Thanks. But I've got to tell you just the same. And I'm hoping... Let's give him an argument. I'm telling you, Law ain't gonna take care of that skunk. Him and the sheriff's friends. Ain't that right, Sturgis? Looks like the news got around already. That redskin must have talked. What'll happen? Nothing. First, I'll get you in jail, and I'll come back and break that up. We'll go up the back way. He come here to kill a couple of them, and he gets away with it. Are we gonna let him? He's right. He's right. Joe's right. You know I ain't one to take law and order in my own hands, but there's times when we should. Yeah, that's right. Let's get him and argue later. Who's with me? I saw him go in the hotel. We'll grab him there. Let's get him. Come on. Let's hurry. Let's go get away. Hold it, you 
Bob, go after Ames. We'll have to hurry. Ames is going to jail. And I'll drill the first man that tries to stop me. Hi, this Ames. I thought I was gone for certain. How much obliged to you, stranger? We took a hand because we believe in law and order. Not because we're on your side. I was a fool. But I never killed anybody in my life. That's gospel truth. But you went to the gunner cabin looking for trouble. You admit that. That's right. And I changed my mind. I quit being crazy. Changed too late. Now mob crazy, too. Yes, Sano. I blame the sheriff. He shouldn't have talked. Sheriff Bill? He didn't talk. He said you must have. Tonto speak to no one. Only Sheriff. And Bill came straight to my hotel room. How did those people know the gunners had been killed? Wait a minute. Tonto, bring Silver. I may have been doing you injustice, Ames. So I apologize. Why you apologize? Because I thought we were the only ones who had left the gunner's cabin. There must have been someone else. Who you think go? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. Me go with you? Not yet, Tonto. You stay with Ames till I get back. Tell me, are you sure that Indian friend of yours didn't talk? As sure as you are that you didn't, Sheriff. No, that isn't the answer. Somebody else knew what happened at the Gunder cabin. The real killer? That's right. Do you know who organized that lynching crowd? No, I was in a hotel with Ames. I was one of them, Sheriff, I'm proud to say. And I wasn't wearing a mask either. But you don't understand. When the law fails in its duty, decent citizens have got to take things in their own hands. I was doing my duty. You should have put Ames under arrest when he first got here. But no, you waited. You can't arrest a man for talking. You waited till he'd murdered two innocent men and hidden their bodies in some ravine to cover up his crime. How did I know what he was going to do? Sheriff, if you don't arrest this masked bandit as an accomplice of Ames, you're a disgrace to that badge you're wearing. Why, well, he's trying to... Trying to keep you talking till Ames gets clear away. Put him off, stranger. I'm arresting you. I'm charging you with the murder of Clay and Pot Gunder. And when you're locked up, we'll go after your accomplice, Ames. Don't shoot. Don't hit me. Well, let's get out of the way. How can I? He's got me. You'll be fired, stranger. You came in and took the law in your own hands. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Have a pedal and come along. I won't run away. You can trust me. I'm beginning to think I can, Ames, but I still can't take the chance. Him stay now, Kimazabi. Good. Let's go. Where we go? We'll head for the Gunder cabin. Why we go there? Tunnel, just what did we find there? We find plenty of blood, bullet holes, big mess. Yes, but no bodies. Maybe Ames hide them so nobody know they're dead. No, he wasn't there long enough to take them very far. Dead bodies, no fly. That's just it, Tonto. They're still alive. Somewhere. Come on. this side either. If the Gunders went out of their cabin, dead or alive, there'll be a trail. We'll head north and south this time. We'll find it for sure. Uh -huh.
Hello. There are the bodies we're after. Them much alive? Yes. They dangerous men. I have a plan I think will work. You circle around and keep me covered. Uh huh? Any sign of the boss? No. Nah. I don't like this camping out. I wish he'd hurry up and get us word it's safe to go back. He will, as soon as Ames decorates that rope. Boss knows what he's doing. Maybe there's been a little hard luck. As I said before, there's been a little hard luck. The rope was ready, but Ames got away. The plans are changed. Say, who are you? Where'd you come from, mister? Maybe I followed you here, Clay. Not a chance. Either you found us here by accident or else... Or else what? He told him. Who told me? Quit acting dumb. Give it to us straight. What's the play? Yeah, and take off that mask. Let's see who you are. I'd rather not. When a man has an unpleasant job to do, he might not want people to know who he was. Unpleasant? What do you mean by that? Well, with Ames getting away and all, someone might prefer to make sure you didn't talk. He sent you here to kill us? Why, that dirty double-crossing skunk. How much is he paying you, mister? We'll double it. I didn't say anybody sent me. <laughs> you don't have to. Name your price. We'll pay it. Not interested. It's been too much talking. Let's get this over with. You're not going to shoot us down, are you? Turn around and walk away from me. Listen, mister. I said turn around. Get going. Come on, Todd. No use talking to this sidewinder. Let's get this thing over with. But Clay. Come on. That's far enough. Stop where you are. Tonto! You let them go. Tonto not understand. Those two are scared. I hope they're mad enough to do what I want them to do. Look, them get horses. They didn't even take time to saddle up. Where them go now? Back to their boss, I hope. Let's go. I just talked to the council. You're through. Fired. We don't want any sheriff that sides with crooks. Now, look here. I couldn't help it. The masked man got the drop on me. Save your breath. We're organizing a posse. And they'll have orders to shoot Ames and his masked friend on sight. Close and lock it, Sim. We don't want no company. How did you get in here? Through the window. Are you crazy? What did you come here for? To see our friend Sam. What else? Glad to see us, ain't you? Yes, yes. Weren't you supposed to stay out of sight until... Till Ames was out of the way? Yes. Did anyone see you coming in here? Nope. And nobody's gonna see us leave. Unless something goes wrong. We figured we wouldn't wait any longer, Sam. We'd leave for the other side of the border right now. We'd go through with the plan we agreed on. As soon as Ames is finished. We want to leave now, and traveling is expensive. Hand over the $10,000 you promised us. 10000 We agreed on five. Well, me and Todd have been talking it over, and we figured your price wasn't enough. Yeah, Sam. We're giving up our homes, friends, and everything. We don't know how things will go for us in another country. I can't, and I won't pay it. You got a lot of money, Sam. And you made more than we did tipping us off which stages to rob. And I kept you out of jail by helping to frame Ames. Don't you forget that. And you figured out another way to make some money. Maybe you're just a good businessman, Sim. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't you hire someone to drill us? Me? I Next time, make sure he's a good shot. What? Now I'm gonna give you a dose of your own medicine. Please, no! No, not again! No, no, I'll pay you, I'll pay you! You know what to do with them, Sheriff. You bet I do. Tonto, keep your eye on them. You should have been wearing these a long time ago, Sim. There's just one thing troubling me. How did you know that the Gunder boys were still alive? Sim told me. I told you? That's right. You knew the bodies weren't in the cabin. That's a fact. Only Ames, Tonto, and myself should have known if Ames killed them. Were you double-crossing, sanctimonious sidewinder? Wait till I get you in court. Take them along, Tonto. Come on. Oh, Miss Rain, I sure made a bad mistake, and I'm sorry. 
Forget it, Joe. Going home, John? Yes, but I'll be coming back here with my family. Good enough. You'll always be welcome now that things have been straightened out. I guess I got the masked man to thank for keeping me out of more trouble, Bill. Masked man? Call him that if you want to, or you can call him by another name. What's that? The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. Colonel Silver, ho! 